interest in political figures such as Donald Trump and Joe Biden, evidenced by Bill Mayer's comedic jabs at Trump's refusal to concede the 2020 presidential election, remains high among the public. He'll never leave. And there are people on the right pushing how the American conservative magazine. His he hasn't conceded the 2020 election yet. What do you mean? How you make it sound like it's a crazy idea. No, he has not has. conceded the one well, he did lose. I'll concede it. I'll concede it because it's very obvious who the president is. It's very obvious. Yes. Joe Biden is the president presiding over 20 percent increases in gas and groceries, presiding over 22 percent increases in health care. 36% in car insurance. I mean, people can't afford we the never, natural accoutrements of an adult life, which is why okay. young people have abandoned Biden. Okay. So it's very clear Donald Trump is not the president. Our economy sucks. Okay. The we, border is open. 8.8 million people came here. That's a, that's larger than the population of, not, of 39 states. It's we, insane. We, we, we get, know who the president is. We will get to all these issues. <laughs> <laughs> Kellyanne Conway's reactions hold significance, mirroring widespread public sentiment regarding the current state of affairs in the United States under Joe Biden's administration. Critiques of Conway's assessment of the Biden administration's policies, particularly focusing on their perceived impact on the economy, underscore prevailing concerns. Conway's highlighting of escalating gas prices, rising health care expenses, and increased auto insurance premiums aligns with Democratic worries regarding the ramifications of government involvement in economic affairs and its implications for individual financial stability.